Yo, what's up, YouTube? Right now, we at the barracks. Right now, we just having a good time, good vibes with the boys. Right now, we're gonna be talking about basic training, and we're gonna be talking about what really goes down in basic training in the army. This is a video of 2023. A lot of people have to be saying some bullshit. And then look, I'm gonna have two Yankee. These are the two scouts. They're gonna talk about OSET. We're gonna talk about my basic training, how it is. And we'll go from there. I just wanted to know, OSET is better. That's a fact. Bro, OSET is always better. OSET is both, bro. OSET is both. But the thing is, no, guy. Listen, guy. OSIT is AIT and basic. At once, the same unit. So, no, it's it's like different. so AIT is how to advance individual training and basic training and basic combat training. Bro, but, but, it's like, but how is your basic training? If you want to do the army and you want some sleep, don't become a scout. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, don't become a scout. You're going to hate your life. Don't do anything that's combat arms because you're going to be like, why am I doing this shit? I have to sign that in the papers. So, Just you know what I'm saying? And don't always pick the first bonus you get. You might get 9K for one MOS and check another MOS and you might say 25 grand, you know what I'm saying? The more money you get, the better for you, right? So you can stack up and save, you know what I'm saying? But basic training is pretty new to Imagine just getting there your first day, you think everything's cool because you're at, you know, um, what they call that shit? The very first spot you went to? Oh, uh, 30th AG. Yeah, 30th AG. You think it's cool because you're sitting there in attention and parade rest all day, staying up for three days straight, getting shot after shot after shot, getting your hair cut off, taking all the pictures, getting your uniforms. And then you arrive to the area where you really start your training. And you're just getting yelled at, that getting your bags, tossed in the zone. Next thing you know, everybody's getting push-ups done, you're learning all their different exercises, and it just doesn't stop. You're always just getting constantly fucked up, doing workout after workout after workout. Because they want to see whether you're going to give up or not. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't, you think it's easy to be a, uh, in the military. It's really not. Because you got to, one, be very uh, strong mentally, because there's going to be days where you're pushed past your limit. And if you have a weak mindset, you're not going to get through it. Imagine staying up the whole night, making sure no drill sergeant is trying to creep up on you and take your weapons. And and if he, and if he gets your weapons, we're just going to do exercises. Just more exercises after exercises. Yeah, it's just it's like, not like... I worse at Fort Benning is fucking really hot. It's humid as fuck. And like people that come from other fucking spots, like say like up north where it's cold, right? Yeah. You know? Yeah, where it's cold as fuck and they go down where Georgia is. And it's a whole different ball game with that heat. Like heat cat was a thing there, people heat cat like fucking three times a day sometimes. It was fucking oh. Yo, is it the TV game? <laughs> yeah, that's it. TV for sure. That's why I say you ain't want to put that shit up there. It would have been cool right there. It is good. It is good. But nah, like for real, like yeah. he right, yo. He can is a real thing. You want to drink a lot of water. I'm telling you, you want to make sure you eat and drink a lot of water. Don't be trying to be that person who's like, oh, I'm gonna lose 40 pounds during my basic training. No, don't do yeah, that don't shit. Don't make do sure that you shit. eat and drink water because at the end of the day, I'm telling you, you're gonna lose that fat regardless. You're gonna make muscle because they're gonna work you out. They're gonna work you out. And you will get recycled. That's for sure. You will get recycled if you heat cat too much and cannot adapt to the environment. Yeah. So you will, you it will recycle. But this guy, I want to hear about your fucking shit. All right, guys. All I, 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 I gotta say, their basic training was a little bit harder. Mine's I'm a '92 Yankee. So when I got to basic training, like like they were saying that we got multiple shots. Mm. You're gonna hate this. The peanut butter shot. You get shot in the ass. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? For my people who are allergic to amoxicillin and pills, saying you feel me, we're gonna take that shot, you feel me, take the pills. You know what I'm saying? Haha, y'all gotta shut your ass. Bro, that shit was tough, bro. That shit hurts. Fucking, I feel like that shot 
made it so you don't get horny because yeah bro i did not get horny at all oh. it just hurts your ass and then from there you gotta do the outlet the tower and then you gotta do fucking the gas chain you gotta do oh, so oh, many the gas oh, oh, oh yo the gas chamber is crazy bro my captain bro. just walk in that gas chamber without the mask yo you know what's crazy, crazy bro i didn't even know i had a nosebleed in the gas chamber i'm sitting there and like the drill sergeants hated me to that move. Like the way I started my basic training was terrible. So my, the one drill sergeant that really likes to fuck with me saw me in the cash chamber and stopped. It was like, oh yeah, I want to see. And then he was like, huh, Torres, move to the front. So you feel me? I get to the front and like, I think he's, I thought he said take it off. So you just see me, the only person to take my fucking hat off. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, I didn't say take it off, so I'll put it back on. You know, I gotta do the whole pro mask uh, procedure and shit. And they tell us to take it off. So I take it off. And he's like, breathe. And he's just staring me down in my face, just like this. Yeah. He's like, breathe. And I'm just like, <gasps> <laughs> and the next thing you know, man, I'm sitting there in front of the door, like, when is the door gonna open? I can't breathe. And I'm like, literally <laughs> gasping for here. I'm like, <laughs> and then the door is open and I'm like, yes! And then they got us doing this old fucking dumbass shit. My eyes are open, my arms are flapping, walking around in circles. And, and then when the other shit, shit happens, there's a guy in the camera ready to take pictures of what in the air. Yeah, I had a nose, but I looked down and I had blood on my uniform and shit. I'm like, damn, I didn't know I had a nose. Bro, bro, one dude threw up in his mask, that's his mask was not secure at all, bro. Ew. His, bro, he went through the whole gas fucking chamber with bro in his fucking mask, bro. That shit was... Not it. I fucking stay away from him too. He's a freak. And when you get to basic training, guys, just remember, guys, are females. You're gonna always have to have a good mentality. You have to start thinking, cause mine's was eight weeks. Theirs was real long. Twenty-two weeks. It was ten. It was ten weeks of basic. Twelve weeks of AIT. So you gotta understand. That you're gonna meet a lot of people. You're, there's gonna be four platoons. There's gonna be a senior drill sergeant. Well, no, drill it's sergeant. not always four, four platoons. It really depends on how many people that the drill sergeants get, and depending on how many they want to break it down. So, because we only had three platoons, and that happens every time. We only have but two. before that, like, um, what's it called? The like, troop. The troop there. Because uh, the next cycle after I graduated, had three platoons, but they didn't have uh, a second platoon. We only had only two. So freaking. If when, when you go to AIT, when you go to your OT training, you're still in basic. The first thing you want to do is make friends with everybody and try to make everybody work together. Because literally, if y'all don't work together, y'all gonna become each other's enemies. And then you're gonna sit there getting fucked up on your bike and you're fucked up for hating this guy. You want to put hands on him. You know what I'm saying? And it's just, it's not gonna benefit your career. It's not gonna help nobody in their room. Y'all just gonna constantly get fucked up until y'all learn to get along. You know, there's times where I'm in the regular army now where my team leader tells me something and I'm just like, yo, fuck this guy. I'm gonna do what the fuck he's telling me. Why don't you go do it your fucking self? I'm doing something else I'm fucking ready. You know what I'm saying? Now, there's just times I'm just sitting there saying that in my head. I'm just like, Roger, I got a song. Roger, I got a special team leader because we don't got no E5s right now, you know, because they don't want to go see fives for some reason, but. I feel like the reason why there's not enough people in that rank, so that's why it's really not like that. But guys, I just want you to understand that in basic training, pack light, this, those are my tips, pack light. And when you go to uh, MEPS, bring a small book bag with the essentials, a toothbrush, toothpaste, uh, deodorant, shampoo, yeah. and Pretty much one outfit because you might wear, you might not. It depends. Their basic training was different than mine's. Only thing you have to worry about, um, just keep it simple and don't make too many enemies because at the end of the day, you got to keep a smile every single day. You have to work as a team and understand that. What the fuck is that? <laughs> 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 but nah, he's right. He's like, when we got to 30th AG, we literally put our backpacks 
in the closet right away. Like they locked it up there. We couldn't even grab nothing. Oh, yeah, and that's... our phones were in there too. Oh, we had to put our phones away. Oh, so don't, don't expect, expect if you phone. think you're gonna be on your phone, don't that's expect not the case. that. You're not gonna be on your phone during the whole basic. That's you're, what happened to uh, when you're, gonna, first, you're gonna get your phone. Make sure, make sure you don't cry in front of the drill sergeant. Oh my when god. When the drill sergeants make you call your parents and let them know that you only got a minute or two to just say hi and bye. Oh boy. And god. then you gotta turn your yeah. phone off. They, the only thing they're gonna, they're, I believe they tell you what, um, hey mom, I made it to. I made it to basic training yeah. and I'm fine. Um, don't worry. I won't be able to be on my phone. The thing is that it depends on uh, my basic training because I did basic training twice. The first time, you only get your phone for like maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes on a Sunday. And if you fuck up or the platoon fucks up, you're not getting your phone at all for that week. Man, yeah, like, like, that's I said, one of the like I said, he had his sweet. That's one of the We get our phones to AIT. Uh, bro, oh, they the get our phones to AIT. The only time we got our phone was on um, the graduation day for the fucking family day, right? That's the only time I got my phone. And then in AIT, we didn't even get our phones at all. Well, in AIT, I probably get it one time, and that was it. Jesus. And until graduation again, until like, October. That's what I'm saying. You think you gotta pick a good MOS. Yeah, and that's what it's you called. Know what it the thing is that um, you gotta understand that with the phone situation, it depends on the unit, it depends on everything. Because the basic training, when I did it the first time, um, I was at Fort Sill. The internet is terrible. The internet I sucks. It sucks. It's, it's bad. Mm. You're not gonna have good internet service at all. I really couldn't use my phone to call. Sometimes I had it to update my phone. It was not jacking it. They didn't want to let me update it. So when I went to when I went to my other unit to uh, to update my phone, they let me update it. Let me do what I had to do. It so it kind of worked fine, but it's just that basic trade you're gonna hate it. And we're gonna be talking about those three phases. You're gonna deal with the red phase, white phase, blue and blue phase. phase. So technically. And red face, you're gonna get screened at every morning. It's, it looks like a bed like this, but it's gonna be a bunk bed. It's gonna be a room uh, full, of, full of fucking guys. Low dudes. Low niggas. Well, their basic training, it was all dudes. My basic training was females and guys. But we're not in the same room. They got their own room. We got our, our own room. It's just gonna be a bunch of people. Look, you understand this. Listen, I'm gonna keep it a buffer y'all. I don't know how sweet he had it. Yeah. During the red phase, we had 10 second showers. As soon as you went in there, <laughs> you got to go to say start. After everybody stands in front of it, say start. You go in and you hear it. One zero, one zero, zero nine, zero eight, zero seven, oh all the way down to zero. That. And then you're gonna hear, get the fuck out. And you just see everybody panicking. But no, no one goes on. I had to. I just woke my man, bro. He, he went to Alpha Trip because he got a recycle. He graduated now. Freaking man dropped the soap every time. <laughs> no way. Bro, we'll always make fun of him. Like, bro, like, literally would not miss. Like, he'll be like, whoop. Oh, shit. And pick it up. He dropped it again. Oh, shit. I got to the point. I had to start turning around. Like, I don't know what I'm be in this fucking front of the shower line. Fuck this shit. God damn. Yeah. Hey, if you're not lying, and red face, and well, then, I had it. You only take a shower for like maybe a minute or two. Oh, it was oh, bad. Gosh. It was terrible. Bro, I wish. The, the guy, you're going to meet a, a bunch of weirdos and fucking. They're always weirdos. It's always gonna be a weird old fucking looking at you, but at the end of the day, just keep your mind straight, take your showers. Um, you're gonna do rock marches, you're gonna be doing like in red face the gas chamber, you're gonna be doing the, the, the tower, you're gonna be jumping off like 50 feet. People be scared of that shit, but don't worry. White face, and then with two leaps. You're gonna be doing another rough march. It's not bad. You just have to learn how to walk. I recommend you, um, if they let you go to the PX, buy some boots, because the boots they issue you, it's bad. It hurts your feet. The first rough yeah, march. 30, 30, but cool. listen, listen, they not that bad. Listen, for real, for real. The I reason is breaking in. Broken in. Well, no, it's not even that. The reason why you use the 30 is to break your feet in. It's not about breaking the boots in. They break, they break your feet in. And that's why, that's why when you switch to Garmons and from the Oakleys, everything's fucking easy with those boots. That's why they don't want you to get those boots right away. Because say, say you use those boots because they're comfortable. 
your feet are not used to like doing all this shit, so you're using for good quality boots instead of using oh, when I went through first, my whole boot so they can get used boots. to it and shit. Because a lot of people, uh, I remember this one guy he went on profile, so they had to get on. He like he had to buy custom boots. I mean, new boots right away. Couldn't use 3030s. And bro, he was always using wool skin. He was always getting shit on his feet. I forget what the fuck they call that shit. Little bumps. Yeah, he's taking that shit, bro. But at the end of the day, everyone's, I recommend just take care of your feet because your feet is yes. gold mine. You don't take care of your feet. Buy, buy that foot powder. When, when oh, they yes. take you to that PX, buy yes, that spend that little extra, extra money. Salt. Get that foot powder. Tell me. When, when Always you, pack extra shirts and extra socks and take whenever you go wipes, in the field. Take they, they're going to give you like a card when you first get to the military. It's like a $200 or a $300 advance. With that car, when you first get there, you could mostly go to the PX, you could buy boots, you could buy extra stuff. But always remember, you that money is not free. It's coming out of your paycheck, but it's just an advanced money, and that's pretty much that's it. So in Whiteface, you're gonna technically do another ruck. You're gonna mostly be messing with your M4. Some people never shooting. run. You're gonna do a lot of shooting. Yeah, yeah. zero. A lot of range, man. You're gonna I enjoy it, trust me. That's for sure. Trust me. At the, first, at the first time, me shooting them for it kind of surprised me, kind of shocked me how it felt, but I got the hang of it. It was fun, but at the end of the day, you just have to continue, learn the fundamentals of shooting, and you're going to be a pro. So I've seen certain people never touch the rifle, uh, fucking um, zero it so perfectly when it's time to go to the range, scoring 40 out of 40. Some people know how to shoot. And they score a 23. Some they were ass. They were the ass. Know how to or shoot is ass. They couldn't truly really shoot. Uh, the thing is that it depends on the drill sergeant. The first uh, basic training I went to, there was some girl that couldn't shoot for shit. I felt bad for her and they kind of let her pass. You gotta get a 23 out of 40 to qualify for marksmanship. And then I think it's like. 30 to 32, you get sharpshooter, and then, and then after 36 and higher, you get um, uh, no, Mac, uh, yeah. you get expert, and then from yeah, there, that's, was. Was like, yeah, that's how it really goes. I understand this, there are certain ranges are nice, certain ranges are bad, you can't can't really complain. Some ranges are, are kind of used up, they have so many holes, holes that, in it. Yeah, so, so many. They, they kind of got me pissed because I couldn't get so a So, listen, right? Point. If you know for sure, if you have confidence in your abilities, and you felt like you really shot that target, don't shoot it here. Don't shoot it. Save that bullet for another target that's gonna be easier. Cause I guarantee you, after that one, there might be a 50 meter target that you could just put that extra round into. You know what I'm saying? Instead of shooting the one that's so far away that you know you hit, but there's so many bullet holes in it. it doesn't you know, know. that happens at ranges. You know I shoot better with the iron sights than the fucking that CCO shit. The same thing. I love the fucking iron sights. The bro. iron sights. I made that CCO, bro. The iron sights is so dot, easy. Bro. It's just the red dot. Yeah, the red so dot. Also, you have to aim a certain way for the red dot. But I run out of the fucking iron sights, bro. I shoot far better with the iron sights. Oh, I hit those like, 600 oh, like, meters easy. Oh, like with the iron sights. I like the iron sights. Yeah, iron sights is far better. It's just way better. It's just way better. And then from there, you're going to go to blue phase. Everything kind of gets easier. The drill sergeant might, you know, be your friend. They might talk to you. They, they might not. They don't be your friend. They don't be your friend. They well, don't know. They're crazy. So, uh, well, they're basically training. They was giving them hell. Uh, no. My you know what our drill sergeant said, Eric? Bro, when we graduated, we were like, hey, young drill sergeant, can you sign my, my PC? I had a PC at home that has... All my battle buddies from basic signed it. I couldn't get no drill sergeant to sign it because they're like, whoa, whoa, how about after six months when you're in your unit, you can come back and I'll sign it for you. <laughs> Cause you know, they're not they're not allowed to really like do that. Bro, they to wanted a, hey. it's like they wanted to murder us every fucking day we are there, bro. Like they just hate seeing us. I wish I could go Literally, back and get one of my drill sergeants to sign that shit. Really, like, that's a lot of work. That's me going day. home with it, me going to fucking. All I gotta say is that you might find a good drill sergeant, you might not. Shout out to uh, my favorite one was. What's her name? Damn, it was just in my head. Just, damn. My, she, she knows I who had she two is. Favorites. I, no, I had three favorites. I had drill sergeant, phone work, 
Josar Digby and Jos Josar Espinosa. He was the platoon team of Josar. And they're all from Bravo to 215 for Benny. And oh my god, bro. Like, even though they probably hated me or maybe they just said they wanted to hate me, I believe they actually hated me. <laughs> they were fucking hilarious, bro. Like, I'm telling you, like, I remember our senior Josar for the fucking troop. Um, they say, uh, Joe Sarnes Spinoza said he looks like Big Fish. <laughs> so he made our guy who could really draw, start fucking drawing Big Fish. And bro, he put the Joe Sarnes head and everything on, oh bro. My bro, looks like Joe Sarnes walked in, bro. He was pissed, bro. <laughs> and uh, we had so many funny moments, man. Like, I I'll never forget. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to tell you, when you get to Blue Phase, once you get a little bit more comfortable, like almost at the end, you have like a warrior, a warrior meal, and then from there, you hell no, that's that's that shit that is shit. when you graduate AIT. No, 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 we had that, and we could roast the drill start. You could um, try to copy what they were saying. Oh yeah, nah, yeah, they they, they had us do that. That's, you could do yeah, that. They, 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 they like that. that. So, no, so no, listen, yeah. when y'all go there, I'm telling you, start practicing whatever drill <laughs> start you want to be. We gotta tell you, they like that funny. shit, bro. We have, um, we had this one Joe song, right? That's a female. And this motherfucker was like, uh, it's hard to mimic it. He's like, Womp punch. I, I can't do it, bro. I, I try. He got like this distinguished voice, and like this one guy was like, from the South or something? Nah, I would say South. It's like a raspy voice, but like they always speak secrets. Fucking rather right too. No, they always dip. They always dip. All right, so like yeah, um, I believe it's after red phase you can start going to religious services. So make sure you do that because if if you're weak minded, go out and I'm not gonna lie. Some type of religion it helps. It easy your mind. Every to hang out. Every Sunday going to church was the best thing ever because. It made me think a little bit. It made me feel like finally I'm out. I'm out of here. Um, the coolest thing about uh, when I went to religious services was that um, they used to uh, broadcast. And the crazy thing is that my mom is used to seeing every Sunday. So so technically use my phone, but she could see it every Sunday because they used to record it. And you can see it on Facebook. So my mom was always happy seeing me all the time. So I always go every Sunday so my parents can see me and have a good time. Oh yeah, and I remember the drill sergeant. Her name is uh, Drill Sergeant McDowell. She knows who she is. I appreciate her because when I got to that her unit and when I got to my other uh, basic training, she used to take care of me. She made sure I got my, my graduation clothes. Because the, the thing that sucks for me, I was in week eight, back to uh, red face to week three, and that was just pain. That was real hard, and it got me so annoyed. But she made sure I was straight, and I got everything done. Graduated, you're gonna do the last ruck. The last ruck is fucking, certain people do 10 miles, 15 or 20 or 30, but your feet's fun. gonna hurt. You're gonna sleep outside, you're gonna see bugs, you're gonna have to deal with it, but at the end of the day, it's just to make you strong-minded. Don't be weak-minded in the army, because all this is trying to break you. So when you get to your unit, you're gonna deal with some bullshit. But it all depends on your unit. Look, right now, uh, this is the barracks. Right now, we're in um, Fort Blitz, Texas, El Paso. We're by Mexico right now. This is how it's gonna kind of look. You're gonna have two rooms. And you're gonna be chilling. I'm telling you, once you graduate from basic training, AIT gets a little easier. It's like college. It's just, you're gonna have more time with your phone. You have more time to socialize. You're not gonna fucking need fucking a drill sergeant up your ass. But you just have to deal with basic training first. Once you deal with basic training, you graduated, you bought, you're almost at you're almost your duty station. You just have to try hard, and that's how it is. I met my boys in uh, in my duty station in Paso, Texas. It kind of it's kind of a little weird. It kind of it's a little hot and stuff. But I'm from New York. He's from New York. And see where you from? Houston. He's from Houston. So the thing is that you're gonna meet a lot of people in the military. You're gonna meet a lot of people that is gonna be your friends. 
You'll meet a lot of people that are gonna hate you, but at the end of the day, you gotta be cool with everyone. Cause when you when you rank up, you might become a sergeant or something, you're gonna use extra points. You don't know who you're gonna run into, who's gonna be your first sergeant, who's gonna be your, your general. So all I recommend is just chill, relax, and have a good time. And guys, I just want you to understand there's gonna be more videos coming soon with the boys. And anything, any questions you need about basic training, just head us up and you will know the stories and the pain that we have to deal with. Catch us soon. <clears throat>